的。In a place like this, someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. Snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing.
Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Mm, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eredin's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aradin start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dara, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eredin succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. At last. This tier, Nalia? The Palace of Awakening. Formerly the Moon Palace. Gale's headquarters. And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Grievan Spain, at Corman Maka, and the Witcher of Rivia. Kevin. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Grievan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Got any vodka? Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting you don't touch that filth, disgraceful as it is. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, Interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. I think that even among the NL elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. Even a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt, a true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up.
I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? And proclaim Avalach our new king? You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tien Aliyah will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalark knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let girls go too easily. He got off cheap and easy. Sold us a few pieces of advice. Some story about a sunstone. He gave us his assurance that he'll not support Eredin. And that is quite a lot. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses at the lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. Grew curious about this little matter you have to resolve. 
When I was last in Leatherbread, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We'll start with the bits. Who are we gonna visit? You'll see. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Wrong direction. Horson's headquartered on Temple Isle. So I thought. But I think we should check something first. Zoltan claims the word in town is we're more likely to run into Horson around here. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? Don't know. Depends what I see. thought I'd find. Orson Jr. wasn't a pious man, but there came a moment when he prayed to all the gods at once. For his life, since the gods disliked Jr., they granted his prayer. Years later, he had just one regret, that at the moment in question, he hadn't surrendered to death, for he had had the courage then to do so. Courage you would never have again. Wonder what happened to him. We'll soon find out. Who? Who's there? Remember me? You. You can. You little ass fucked whore. You. You pay for what you did to me. I'd watch your words if I were you. Witcher! It's all your fault. Happy, you cocksucker. I've naught left. Not a bloody scrap. Human dignity left. Ow! You little shit! here I didn't know what I'd do. Killing him was definitely an option. Still want to? No. This is worse. Let's go. We've done the hardest part. Only the pleasant bits left now. Where are we going? The Golden Sturgeon. A girl who works there helped me. This girl we're going to see. Who is she again? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Chance. Yeah. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak, too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Yugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. 
That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry Thank you. They seem more determined this time. Shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. That Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Siri, didn't you have something to take care of? Right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my, it's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. You're terrible. What'd I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the Temple Guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee nowhere. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copy to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. <clears throat> Your cat spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. Where's this friend of yours? Hmm. There, Baldo. Siri, you. Devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri? You know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come.
go. Choose one of these. Coming, coming. Let's go. You were faster once. Giving you a head start. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. <laughs> Seems you've slowed. Just want to admire you from the side. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but... I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? Hmm. Well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? What awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. Don't worry about that yet. One thing at a time. You do know you can always count on me, whatever happens. I do. Thank you, Geralt. You promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Meaning? Ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. You granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so... You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalach will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain, whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. 
What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Just buy the horses. Why can't you? With what coin? Siri gave you a full pouch. Enough for one at most, whereas at the least we need four. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bear. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. <laughs>